talk about the changes that Catalina High School has made to their conference period this year. Last year we had conference period at the very beginning of the day for 30 minutes and most of our students chose to use that as just a time to sleep in and come to school late. And we wanted to make our conference period more effective and we wanted to have time during the school day to, to do some of those interventions in math and ELA. So this year we decided to move our conference period to after second period and we decided to use our CFA data in English and math to go ahead and um, assign students to a closed intervention every other week depending on if they needed help in math or English. So in math in particular, the, the teachers are having the students track their own data and so the, the students track their data themselves and keep track of it. So we're hoping that we'll build students into taking ownership for their learning. And then we also have the teachers talk to the classes about, well this, for example, my geometry teacher talked to her honors class because they scored lower on the CFA than another class period. And so the honors kids really got kind of upset because they're like, miss, we just didn't take it seriously. And so the kids are starting to buy into it a little bit more. Um, we also noticed on our last benchmark scores that we were closer to the district average than we have been in the past. So we're hoping that, that we're going to continue to see an increase in that. Uh, the teachers are working really hard to, to, to make this program work. And the English and math teachers give CFAs every week and analyze data and adjust instruction and assign closed interventions. So we're working really hard and I'm hoping that our scores will continue to in increase. Good morning everybody. So we're going to start up. So I've got you guys paired up for Algebra 2 and you're going to compare your data and you're going to set up your conference list based on your last CFA and you're going to discuss how you set up your Tuesday and Thursday conference and what has worked for you and what hasn't. Um, Victor and I, we're going to work on geometry, and then you're going to work on algebra one, and I'll come over and work with you and compare my data with you too. You also have an email with the Excel spreadsheet and also the um, ASW sheet so that you can discuss how to fill out the four corners on how we are going to actually do intervention with kids that didn't do well and then also compare what worked and what didn't work. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So for example, um, math teachers can give a CFA this week, they'll analyze their data and then they'll go ahead and give a closed conference list that is sent out to all teachers and those students are assigned to Tuesday and Thursday closed conference time. So during that time they're expected to go to that classroom and that teacher reteaches the standard from the CFA and has the students continue to work on mastery of that standard. So our hope is that in the end that we're, we're getting those interventions so that students can then improve their learning on the different standard um, items. So we use School City to, to do our CFAs and to track our data. So that's a big part that we use. And our teachers also do what's called analyzing student work. Um, our, our form, which we have them look at the students that are minimally proficient, partially proficient, proficient, and highly proficient. And then they look at how they can address the needs of each of those students. And that's how they define who is going to go ahead and go to their closed intervention. We found some some things that are good. Um, we've also found some things that are challenges and we've made adjustments along the way. All of the students that go to closed intervention are expected to be in those classes. We do monitor that and we also connect that with our MTSS process. So any students who are on the MT MTSS list for academics, we try to make sure that they're also attending those conference periods. We um, also have, for students not on a closed intervention list, we have what's called open intervention time. And during that time, students are able to pick another class or another teacher or even going to a computer lab or a library, depending on what they need to work on. We also, during that time, have had counselors do senior credit checks. We've also had college visits with our um, 
college and career counselors. So we, we've kind of expanded it to not just closed ELA and math interventions, but we also do some additional things um, that don't take away from instructional time. So instead of having our college visits for our seniors during instructional time, they can have it during conference period and then that allows us to, to go ahead and not miss more instructional time for those seniors. So it's, it's been a, a positive change. Uh, we're in the middle of still monitoring and adjusting and making changes as we go, but we're hoping that in the end our students will go ahead and, and make some improvements in their academics.